Good job, Robbie. Fuck off. Fucking mug. Look at me, you fucking milk. Shut the hell, maggot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We didn't even know the camera was there, to be fair, I just walked past, I was by myself, uh, Fan and my dad were still talking in the crowd and uh, his mob seemed to try to jump us, <laughs> so uh, it, was, it was a bit funny games really and uh, he seemed to get a bit worked up about it and we're, we're just laughing about it really. Even at the press conference, we were just sort of sitting back, laughing, and he seemed to get even worked up there, you know. And uh, if he if he brings out the ring, that'd be great. But I'm expecting Robbie to be on top of his game and not that effective, and he'll get in there and then hopefully bring the best Robbie. Well, when we first moved there, um, to like well, uh, before we box Benitez, who and comfortable before we fight, we're not win this. We'll be fighting the winner of Robbie and Hughes next. And then uh, in the interview after Robbie had boxed Joe Hughes, and he mentioned it says he wouldn't uh, would like to have Robbie fight me. So we sort of knew it was going to happen for a while, and all of a sudden Robbie jumped to the conclusion that he should be fighting for world titles. So I think he's a bit uh, miffed for that, and he's going to fight us. So happy days. I haven't seen much of him. The uh, only really two fights I've seen is when he was, well, three fights one when he was lying on his back, uh, not clean out, and then uh, the two against Foot and Hughes, where I had. He was winning one and the, the fight with Glenn Foot very poor, so I'm not going to take much in that. I'm just going to, like I say, expect the best the best Robbie in there and we'll bring our ear game and hopefully he'll bring his. After the Batera fight was sat down and uh, Fano was, was, you know, wasn't happy and rightly so, he was saying I was one in charge and not him and uh, decided to come down Yanu and we'll be in yeah. Fano says it would take about a year for him for his style and it's been less than a year. And, uh, I've been up about 10 levels, you know, like I'm with Fano two or three times a day and he's keeping us right and uh, teaching us in the gym and teaching us about outside life as well and couldn't be going better. No point taking taking one to land one and uh, that's what Fano's been drilling in my head and as you can see when we last fight we clicked straight away, you know, I come down here and train for the Benitez fight and train hard but wasn't really listening to me, I thought I could just go in there and blast him out again and you know, we sat down after the fight and Neil explained that's what we've been, that's what I've been t trying to teach you, you know, if you kind of get these out of four or five and you're putting everything in every shot and taking one, you're keeping them in. And uh, took that on board and as you can see in the last fight, we've been, we've been listening to them and uh, the boxing side starting to come. Yeah, I thought we saw who I could hit who, and if it landed clean then I would knock them, knock them spark out and uh, it was working for a while and the one person I tell is, about levels was fun. He said the European level is massively different to British, and when you're sort of knocking everybody out, I was yeah, neighbor nee, fun. I'm all this day where I'm doing, and I don't think I hit Patera practically clean with one punch to full fight. To be fair, that was me just trying to take his head off, and it didn't come. And uh, if there's anyone that knows about boxing, it's fun. And I keep listening to him that I know I'm going for. I've got a little girl down and girlfriend back home, but it's like Fano says, and you keep focused all the time and be down here away from all the distractions in Newcastle. And it's in, you know, like I say, I just breathe boxing. You know, I'm in the gym twice, three times a day, and I'm with Fano all the time. And that's what I've had to do. I've had to be away from Newcastle, I've had to come down and train like this, and I've matured quite a lot, yeah. If you look at my record compared to Robbie's record, I've got the much bigger names. You know, I've fought all the top guys that won 3 5 domestically. And uh, we've, we've stepped up to 140 and we've been chasing them big guys. Like I say, Joe Hughes had to pull out with a, a back injury and, and other people who you know, have been off at the coil fight before we accepted it, but then that obviously hasn't come off. So we're not avoiding anybody, it's just a shame if the names won't come to fight us. So if you look at my 140 list and then compare it to his, there's not really much difference apart from Joe Hughes and Glenn Foot. So probably can think what he wants. You know, he's making a big deal of this 140 Malark, deep water as swimming with the sharks and that, but. We're, we'll see on the night, and uh, we're more than, more than confident. I think he's massive for the weight. I think no matter, you know, he's, he's already said it himself. Uh, he needs a certain amount of time to make the weight, so he tells me that he's struggling for it. So it doesn't matter how strong uh, if, if you feel that. I, I, I can tell you, prime with me being massive for lightweight and struggling to make the weight. You're over five or six rounds, but as soon as somebody's still there, uh, yeah. You're tired and you, and you start dipping it as you see with Glenn Foot and Joe Hughes fight after six rounds. He was gasping for air, he was dipping himself. So I um, don't take anything like that now. I think it'll be the way around. Uh, I know for a fine fact I'll turn up a weight in day, ten, bang on the 10 stone, strong, fit, and where Robbie will be weak and uh, struggle to have made it. 
when I was making the lightweight, it was it was killing us. And you know, maybe if you were making lightweight two or three times a year, where you didn't always have to strip down that, then maybe the Patera fight might have been a bit different. But you know, like five five fights and not even out of camp, and you back in the back in the weight, struggling like mad, it takes its toll. And you know, this will be with third fight this year, and uh, we're fresh as out, haven't haven't took nothing in the last two to, to wear we're out, and uh, and we're just more ready to go now. You know, we're fully focused on Robbie. You know, we can't kind of be thinking, oh, because you know, we're more confident of beating Robbie. We can't kind of just be thinking, oh, as soon as we beat him, we're going to be fighting for a week. We've, we've got to fully focus on Robbie. We're not even thinking about that. You know, we've got to train hard, like you say, it's a little bit bad, but between when I, I don't want Robbie to beat me, he not want me to beat him. So that's the drive. You know, we don't, we don't want to get beat off each other. And uh, if, he, if he comes to impose his size, like he says, it's going to be a hell of a fight.